jump seating is a way for pilots to fly free on the, you guessed it, jump seat. So how does it work? What are the rules? And can you do just whatever you like if you're a jump seating pilot? Let's talk aviation. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. This really helps the channel grow and makes it easier for others to find. So first of all, what is jump seating in a nutshell? Jump seating is a privilege given to, among others, pilots. They can take a flight on a jump seat in the cockpit or on an unsold seat in the cabin. The jump seat at the back of the cockpit is there to allow the FAA or airline officials to observe the crew or the plane performance during check and acceptance flights. But these are rare, and on all other flights, the seat is empty and can be used by others. Usually, the seat can be reserved online or asked for at the gate. The captain of the flight is the one with the right to accept or refuse jump seating requests at his or her own discretion. When there are more requests than available seats, priority is usually given to pilots from their own airline over pilots from other airlines. So for example, a Delta pilot will have priority over an American Airlines one on Delta flights. But take care, a jump seater isn't just any other passenger. While they are off duty, they are considered an additional crew member. This doesn't mean that the jump seater has specific duties or responsibilities under normal circumstances. But in the case of an emergency, for example, it is expected that any jump seating pilot will assist when the captain asks to do so. And usually at the beginning of the flight, the captain will do a short briefing, making sure everyone is on the same page. Since pilots can be asked to perform flying duties and due to strengthened security measures after 9-11, pilots are now obligated to identify themselves to the captain and show that they are fit to fly. This doesn't mean only showing their passport, but also their pilot certification and medical documents. Just as with any other flights, the pilot is actually flying. Of course, this does also mean that in order to be allowed to jump seat, it is prohibited to be under the influence of alcohol, drugs or any other medication that isn't allowed normally. And given that the jump seat is in the cockpit, there are some behavioral rules. Just like the rest of the flight crew, a sterile cockpit is required. In short, this means no conversations, mobile devices or even books and crosswords under 10,000 feet. Thereafter, it's up to the captain to layer the guidelines and expectations from the jump seater. It may be the case that the jump seat is already occupied or that the seat in the cabin is available. Then it's up to the captain to decide if a requesting pilot can take a seat there. However, while the seat may be in first or business class, the jump seater isn't necessarily treated as any other revenue customer. So, usually no luxurious meals or complimentary drinks. As mentioned before, jump seating is possible across other airlines than the pilots own via reciprocal agreements. In the US, almost all airlines have, in collaboration with the pilot unions, set up these kinds of agreements. This means that passenger airline pilots can also apply for a jump seat on a cargo flight. Next to the jump seat, most cargo planes are outfitted with a small cabin behind the cockpit. These cabins, usually used by the flight crew to rest, are most often spacious business class seats and a small galley. Sounds like quite a nice flight to me. Not only pilots are allowed to jump seat, dispatchers are given these privileges as well. And there is one more group, air traffic controllers. They are allowed to fly in the jump seat again since 2011, after they were banned from the cockpit following 9-11. One reason for the change was to give air traffic controllers the opportunity to experience the other side of the radio and to hopefully gain some insights that will improve their performance. Did you know about jump seating? And if so, have you ever flown on the jump seat? I would love to hear what your experiences were. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to Let's Talk Aviation. If you have any suggestions for a future video, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. And before you know it, I might make a video about it.